Hey guys, Grady here. Just taking a walk. Um, might do a longer one this time. In fact, I think I might because I've got a really important issue to talk about. So today was supposed to be, you know, an average day at work. Obviously, you know, things can change. But not as much as when you have a customer that has a shirt on that says, fuck gun control. You've got to be fucking joking. I saw that and I was, I almost said something about that. And if I had been a customer in that store, I would have beat her over the head. I'm serious. Guys, my children, I had children once, okay? I was the happiest guy alive because I adopted two kids. Then some crazy psychotic fucker bought a gun and killed him. Whole bunch of other kids. I, my freedom killed my kids. The Second Amendment, the NRA, killed my kids. You've got to be fucking kidding me. This makes me so angry. A lot of people better be glad I'm not president, because if I was, I'd take every single one of their guns away. If they bought them again, they'd go to prison. No questions about it. Guns are not fucking cool. I don't understand how any person who has kids could have a shirt that says fuck gun control. They don't, the NRA and the courts, they don't give a fucking shit about your children. They don't. What they care about are their motherfucking guns. That's it. They don't give a fucking shit about any of your children at all. I mean, if it's a different type of case um, from violence towards children, then yeah, yeah, they very much so care. But if your children are shot and killed, you know, the court said to me to this effect, they said, we care more about our guns than we do your children. And I, that, that was what really broke my heart. It is such a horrifying subject for me to talk about. You don't know, unless you have experienced it, you have no idea what it's like to lose a child. It's fucking horrible. And it makes the rest of your life bad. Makes the re it ruins your whole life. It, it really does. It fucks up your whole life. And I fully blame that worthless piece of shit that's in the White House, the National Rifle Association, and the Second Amendment, and freedom. The freedom to bear arms, yeah, okay. The freedom to bear arms and kill as many children as you want, you won't get in trouble for it because you're a crazy psychotic fuck. So yeah, fuck freedom. Everything it stands for, fuck all of it. Except the freedom to speak out against your own government, that I'm okay with. And not all aspects of freedom are bad, but still, fuck the Second Amendment. Not getting my vote. I don't own a fucking gun because I'm not a fucking idiot. And I'm not a fucking moron. And I'm not a fucking criminal, above all. If I were president, the only people who would be allowed to legally use guns were people who were only going to use them for practicing shooting at targets. Other than that, guns would be fucking banned. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You people make me so fucking sick. I'm dead serious. You people make me so fucking sick. But at the same time, I'm still not going to wish a single one of you violence. Because unlike you crazy fuckers with your guns, I don't believe in that shit. Because that shit causes harm to people. And it tears families apart. It ruins lives. So I'm not going to wish that for people. I wish somebody would give you a dose of your own medicine. But in a peaceful way, not in a violent or harmful way. But I still wish you guys would learn your fucking lesson, because you clearly haven't. This makes me very angry. I, I have dogs. I don't need a fucking gun for my protection. I have dogs, okay? 
I have dogs, I have teeth, I have legs, I have fists. I don't need a fucking gun to make myself look weak. A gun isn't going to help you against most animals anyways. They'd easily be able to bypass the gun. A bear can break a gun just by smashing it into a rock. You've got to be fucking joking. You, you have got to be fucking joking with me. You look at the murder rate in Canada by guns compared to here. Oh my gosh, it's like there isn't a murder rate in Canada by guns when you compare it to here. You've got to be fucking kidding me. There's a mass shooting in this country every single fucking day. You have got to be fucking kidding me. You people make me so damn sick. I'm telling you this because I care. You people make my life hell. You people ruin my life. You guys ruined my life. You took away the greatest thing I ever had. And it was because of you pansy ass fuckers who voted for that fucking moron we have as a fucking president. You've got to be fucking kidding me right now. I cannot fucking believe that anybody would fucking do that. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. That is why when I leave this country, I'm going to give it the biggest fuck you ever and I will never come back. I won't even come back to visit. I will never come back ever. Welcome to the divided states of America where the government doesn't give a fucking shit about your children. Where all they care about is their fucking guns. And they don't care what they have to do to care about them. They'll do whatever they can, even if it means killing your own children. Welcome to a horrible fucking country like that. Fuck all of you who decide to live here. I'm serious. You're all fucking crazy. You are all fucking crazy, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm concerned of as to why you don't fucking care. I'm concerned. People who live here are idiots. The only reason why I haven't left yet is because my dad is going to wait until he retires before he moves. And people will be like, well, why don't you go out on your own? Gee, I don't know, because I don't want to put my fucking family in danger. I want to be here in case I need to protect them from something. What a... Fucking stupid question people ask me. You've got to be fucking joking. Thank fucking goodness for places like Scandinavia, the United Kingdom, Canada, even Cuba, for having gun control. Thank fucking goodness they are sensible enough to have something like that. Thank fucking goodness. I couldn't be happier about that. It's, this is a very, very hard subject for me to talk about. A very hard subject. It's very hard to talk about the loss of a child, or even more than one child. It's very hard to talk about that. It's the hardest thing for any parent to talk about. You've got to be fucking joking. It took, it took almost an entire fucking year of therapy for me to get, for me to, you know, get it off of my mind. It took almost an entire fucking year for me to get it off of my mind. But I still think about it every day. Every day. I think, how was I so disprivileged to live in such a disgusting dump? Every day I think, why? Why would anybody be stupid enough to live in such a disgusting fucking country? I, I will never, ever, ever, ever hang a US flag on my wall. I will never own a US flag unless I am burning one. 
You've got to be fucking joking if you think I'm going to support a man who killed my children. He's part of the solution. He doesn't want the fucking gun control. He doesn't care if how many children die. He doesn't want the fucking gun control. So I don't really care at this point what happens to him. I mean, I still don't want him to get hurt, but if he does, you know, I won't be offended. I, w I won't be. I won't be offended. I will still think how despicable it is for, for that to happen to a person, for somebody to still do that to him, because they're not finding the right and correct and proper way to go about it, which is a peaceful way. But still, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I wouldn't be offended. It wouldn't really affect my life in a negative way if something bad did happen to him, but I still, I don't hope that for him. I'll give him that much fucking credit. I don't hope that for him, okay? I don't. I don't. I don't hope that for anybody. I do hope Trump learns his lesson the hard way, but it must be done in a peaceful way. I don't care what you guys say. It must be done peacefully. You've got to be joking, though, if you think I'm going to support him. I don't like anything that he's doing. Anything that he's doing. Everything he's done has been a huge embarrassment. I mean, yesterday, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Yesterday, I had a customer. She had some World Wildlife bags. And, um, you know, I said it bothers me that our president is trying to kill all the wildlife. And she said, oh, he's not really doing that. And I... I gave her such a disgusted look as if to say, you've got to be fucking kidding. Really? You don't know that that's going on? If you, ha if you are a supporter of the World Wildlife Fund, yeah, you definitely know that's going on. Especially if you're a World Wildlife supporter and then you're a Trump supporter. You don't, it's either one or the other you don't care about. And I hope it's Trump you don't care about. I fucking hope it's Trump you don't care about. Because he's a criminal. He deserves to be locked up for life. I'll say the same thing now in modern times. Th things in the whole world were, well, not in the whole world, but things throughout the majority of the world were pretty good when Obama was under administration, but now things are turning bad throughout the world because of Trump, and, you know, I'd like to have a bumper sticker that says, fire all the fucking bastards, make them all start over. Seriously, fire all of them. They're all criminals. Essentially, all of them are criminals. Not everything that they do is bad, necessarily. I'll even at least give Kim Jong-un credit for the fact that he at least deeply cares about the wildlife in North Korea. We don't do shit. We don't do fucking shit for our wildlife now with that crazy psychotic fuck as president. We don't do fucking shit for our wildlife. At least Kim Jong-un has put in strict regulations to protect the Korean leopard. Anyways, guys, look, that's going to end this video. So, as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. You know, share with your friends. And above all, have a peaceful day. And I do mean that for each and every one of you regardless of what you believe. I do mean that. I, I am sincere about that. This breaks my heart. And if you don't care, that's your own damn fault. But I'm, I'm still not going to wish you violence. I'm not. Yeah, I'll get mad, but I won't wish you violence. Thank you all for watching. Have a peaceful day. Bye.